First question, what did I just do? <laughs> well, the obvious answer would be I just took some pills. But what if I told you I probably just endangered my life? See, these pills are what we call OTC, or over-the-counter medicine. It's medicine that you can buy anywhere, almost any time, for a range of things, from fever, headache, even a cough or a cold. We believe that OTC medicines are the best and easiest ways to cure our illnesses and problems. But is that really so? Or could they be sucking away at our life, much like the medieval leech, which was believed to cure and heal all illnesses at the time? Now, some of the information in this presentation may be shocking, and sources will be shown at the end. As insight, medieval leeches, or leeches, were used in medieval times, and still today, as a therapy or medical treatment in which you would get rid of the bad blood and balance the health of the patient, therefore curing all illnesses, diseases, and problems that that person had. But with overuse and excessive use, the danger existed that the patient would die or have fallen into a serious situation. Much like leeches, medicine has side effects as well. Some fatal, some not so. OTC medicine is one of these. In fact, acetaminophen is, cause, is the cause of 56,000 ER visits annually. Now, acetaminophen, what is that? Acetaminophen is a OTC painkiller, or a leech, if you may. It's also sometimes known as paracetamol. But more importantly, it's the leading ingredient in the drug Tylenol, also called America's safest drug. Now, statistics show that in one year, acetaminophen causes around 500 deaths in the US. Now, of course, a lot of these deaths were because of overuse or use with alcohol or both and there is such thing as misuse. But Tylenol isn't the only drug that has these mishaps, if you may. In fact, did you know that uh, painkillers and adverse drug, uh, drug reactions are the fourth leading cause of death in the US? Of course, we can argue that it's not the drug, it's the person who takes it, because, of course, the drug can't help that you're overdosing. But safe or safest is a little too inviting, if you ask me. Another leech, or OTC drug, that we all know is acetylosilic acid, or aspirin. Aspirin is a OTC drug, and it's part of the NSAID family, or non-steroidal anti-inflammatory anti drugs. It has many uses, from fever to headache to even heartache and stroke prevent, heart attack and stroke prevention. Its side effects, though, range from stomach ulcers to stomach bleeding and even tetanus, especially when taken in higher amounts. Aspirin is to be recommended to be avoided by children and adolescents, as it's known to cause Ray syndrome, a serious illness affecting the brain and liver. But Aspirin is one of the most widely used drugs in the world, and an estimated 40,000 tons of it are being consumed each year. This next OTC drug is one that's less well-known, but is still dangerous, as it doesn't take an overdose to put your life at risk. Celecoxib, or Celebrex, as it's commonly known under the brand name, is a drug used for relief from acute pain, stiffness, and inflammation. Now, what you aren't told, and what a study done by the Healthy Back Institute has proven, is that when taken in 400 milligram doses, Celebrex can actually increase your risk of having a heart attack or stroke to 250%. And when taken in 800 milligram doses, that chance increases to 340%. Now, 400 and 800, that seems like a lot, but 400 and 800 milligrams is a usual dose for most medicines. And 
when you think about it, if a drug taken in its recommended and usual doses can cause that much harm, what else could be out there? Lastly, uh, ibuprofen, another drug we all know. It is used, it's part of the NSAID family as well, and is a pain-killing drug used for well, pain. But it's known to worsen kidney diseases and kidney problems by causing an allergic reaction known as intestinal arthritis, and should therefore be avoided by people who are suffering from kidney diseases or kidney-related problems. Now, ibuprofen is easy to get a hold of, as it's been recommended by the World Health Organization as a drug that every country should have available. This doesn't make it less dangerous, though. I won't finish off without saying that a lot of these drug deaths could have been prevented had the users been a little bit more careful or actually read the drug facts on the back. But sadly, there is such thing as drug misuse. And my advice is that you consult your doctor or pharmacist or your physician, get a prescription, listen to their advice, and if they do prescribe an OTC drug, don't run out of the office screaming. Accept it for what it is. It's probably the best treatment for your case. And as long as you take it in the recommended and required doses and don't take an overdose, you should be fine. Secondly, be wary of what you take. Think about what you're taking, the side effects, any problems that may occur, and just take, keep those in mind. Think before you do something. And lastly, pay attention to what you take because it may eventually save your life. Thank you.